Let's put an ad in the Daily Cal. The ad read, two lacrosse players looking for a third to throw the ball. My phone rang off the hook. Within a week, we had 30 lacrosse players, including a goalie with complete goalie regalia, ready to go. The senior leadership on the team from last year was just unbelievable. Just guys who are absolute studs on as athletes, but then also as people. Last season was a culmination of a lot of different aspects of my Cal lacrosse experience. Coming in as a freshman, having a coaching change, and then going through the growing pains that come with having a new coach. And then finally, during a senior season, seeing the payoff from all the hard work. People ask me this question all the time. What did last season feel like? How did it end? All of that. And I just say surreal because advancing through the quarterfinals onto the semifinals was, was something truly special. You could just tell there was a fire in the guys that I hadn't been a part of on a team in, in quite a while. You know, I, I think one of the highlights of that trip was the University of Colorado game. I mean, I mean, just watching guys claw tooth and nail to come away with the win was was inspiring. Like, I ran on the field with the guys, and then realized for like a second later, like I'm a coach. I can't I can't go jump in the in the dog pile. It was just an amazing experience, and and it's almost like we we put four, three years, up to four years of Cal lacrosse experience into one week, and we just left it all out there. You know, after we beat Colorado in overtime, just sitting in the hotel room, being in absolute shock about what happened and thinking, wow, we're, we still get another game to play. The season was amazing. Like, I can't deny that. When you tell people that you ended number three in the country, people are like, their jaws drop. Like, oh, that's what you do after work? I also cannot say enough about Coach Webster and the job that he's done in just a short amount of time here at the school and running the program just from an administrative standpoint, from a recruiting standpoint, from an organization standpoint. He's really made Cal a legitimate contender every year, and that is going to be a consistent fact going forward. Uh, my coaching experience so far with Coach Webster and the rest of the staff has been amazing. I really have developed a fantastic connection with Webb and with uh, Coach Paul Jepson, uh, Ruth, um, Dino and, and Coach Kevin Kelly, who was my goalie coach when I was a senior. The Hall of Fame event, reflecting on it as a player, it really gave me some great perspective about what Cal Lacrosse was. To go to an event like that and see all those alumni and all their families and have this very organized, special, emotional, and reflective experience where everyone who's gone through the program is together under one roof really gives you a feeling of being a part of something greater than just your four years, but something that's been around for 50 years. My first Hall of Fame event, I don't think I completely understood how important and how valuable having these alumni was. Looking back now as an alumni, it's really something special, and I think it's not something that a large percentage of the teams across the country can boast about, and it's something special to Cal Lacrosse. So the Hall of Fame, uh, this year kind of holds certain significance because I never got to see him play, but Mario Ania sold me my first lacrosse stick. I don't think he'd remember that. I was just like a, you know, seventh grade little toehead, but he sold me my first stick in his shop at the California Lacrosse Company. I'm gonna be very excited to see him step on the stage and, and be enshrined in the California Hall of Fame. You saw someone like Mario, who was a badass on the field, 
He played with this intensity and this chip on his shoulder that he wasn't going to back down from anybody and he was going to try to whip the living daylights of anybody across from him. And it didn't matter if you were from Chapman in Chico State or if you were from Princeton in Duke. Dick Graham was flat out the greatest lacrosse player I've been privileged to play with. I played with Dick fortunately in 72, 73, and 74 for Cal Lacrosse. He dominated. He had a left hand that was unstoppable, pinpoint accuracy on his shooting in the corners, and a pinpoint passer. Dick would blow by his man quickly. My man would drop off. I'd get a nice feed from Dick and pound it in. Just had fun. I'm happy to support him into the Hall of Fame of Cal Lacrosse. I did play with Mike Sterrett as a young freshman. Mike was a defenseman. Uh, back in the era, Mike was one of the guys who'd carry a big, thick, heavy piece of oak, and he knew how to wield it quite well. Uh, it was, it was a, a thing to see. Uh, he was strong, and he was able to, to knock people down. It was, uh, it was nice to have someone like that in front of you when you're standing in the goal. He was definitely the leader on the field. And Mike, while a leader, was also willing to have a good time. You know, this is when we could still bring kegs onto the field after the games uh, and you know, after a hard-fought battle with our opponents we'd tip a few beers with them afterwards.